Well, let's talk about email. We all use it, right? Uh, we send instructions to coworkers. Uh, we respond to, uh, you know, re requests for quotations. Uh, you know, the first thing we do in the morning, right, is we crack open our email and we spend the next uh, 45 minutes, hour, hour and a half, going through our email and, and sending off dozens of emails uh, to, to coworkers with in, with instructions or responding to our, our our boss for a request for information, and so forth. So, and we do this in in a matter of minutes. It's it's a mass amount of communication that we do very quickly. So this is obviously something that is, is great, right? It's great for business. Well, according to our next guest, maybe not. Kelly Graves, one of our Quality Digest columnists, uh, actually believes that in many cases email is ruining business. So with us right now is Kelly Graves. Kelly, thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Uh, so Thank you for introducing me. And upsetting a lot of our people who think, wait a minute, email is the greatest thing in the world, well, okay. right? You say it's ruining. <laughs> so what, what, do you mean it's, what do you mean it's ruining business? Okay. People are confusing speed and efficiency with clarity and understanding. Okay, so uh, like you said, you get to work in the morning and you spend an hour, hour and a half going through emails. And people don't give those the, uh, sometimes the time necessary. And so what I run into in the executive meetings is I'll have CEOs who are spending, that are getting 200 emails a day, mm -hmm. 250, and that brings a lot of challenges that I won't go into here. But basically, um, we're getting um, overloaded with information. And as a result of that, um, people don't read the whole email, they guess. Um, they, or, we have employees that are sending just in case. I'm just gonna cover myself. So I'm sending, 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 I'm, I'm CCing, and executives are like, man, I don't have time to go through this stuff. Boom, 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 boom. And so important information gets lost in the chatter. It's just like, you know, on Google, there's so much chatter. Um, I'm sending people uh, thank you notes by, e by regular mail, just because it's so different now, because there's so much noise, right? Sorry. Were you going to say something? No, no, I was just okay. going to, well, what I was going to say is that, well, what's a better way than that? I mean, I use email. I'm a guy who probably gets 150, 200 emails a day. Right. I mean, I use email a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably contributing to that by sending another 100 emails a day. Yes, right. you do. <laughs> various email. I, I copy a lot of people. Dirk will tell you. Dirk sometimes will get copied on something. He's like, why am I copied on this? Well, I thought you might want to know just in case. And he's like, no, I don't include me. Right. Um, so what's a better way is, is really the question. Okay. Um, realistically, people need to... Uh, one, be careful of what they send and say, okay, is it important? So first off, what's the priority? Is this a priority A, B, or C? Or is it high, medium, low? And state that clearly. If this like is, right, right at the top. Yeah, yeah. This is, and you might have to talk about this with other people in your organization. Hey, let's, let's put some, some uh, protocols with our email because it's still the Wild West, right? So first thing, this is high, medium, or low, or when you get a chance, um, because I, there's an executive that I know that'll two o'clock in the morning, he's sending out emails to people, just information, this is great. And the lower executives are going, do I look at it, don't I look at it, do it's I file boss, it, do, do I respond, I mean, yeah. <laughs> right, right. And they're just overloaded, so they don't have time. So first off, high priority, medium, low, or, you know. So maybe, maybe even the subject line. Yeah, in the subject yeah. Line. okay. okay. Yeah. And then second thing is state your need. I need this, and if you do, what's the date and the time? When you start putting days and times to things, it very, uh, it clarifies for people. This is something I need to handle in two hours, two weeks, or two months, okay? And, and I think another thing that, that you, I think you touched on in your article um, is that tone isn't communicated in email, and, I, and, and usually if people are gonna err on one side of what tone they, in, they tend to interpret into an email, Ooh. it's negative. I mean, I see that a lot, is, is people will get an email and they'll read it and they'll say, well, he's sure being snotty or she's sure being snotty, when that may not have been the case at all. And it's just a, a case of not being careful on how things are worded so that the, the tone is somehow conveyed in words and not assumed, right? I mean, do you That's see that a lot? all the time. In fact, I run into uh, problems in executive meetings 
where we've dissected or debriefed what's happened in the last six months between the seven of you. And invariably, it's miscommunication. And much of it is you sent me an email six months ago, and it was just that. I interpreted it this way. And so perception is reality. So if you and I had a little tiff the other day because you wanted something and I wanted something else in the meeting and you got it, I'm going to misinterpret the words you use um, because I'm not there to clarify. So I think, you know, in a nutshell, since we only have a couple of minutes left, is the higher priority it is, you might want to take the extra 15 minutes and go talk to that person or pick up the phone rather than the 15 seconds and send them an email. So I'm saying email is great, but there needs to be some rules established for your organization. And especially at the higher levels, if you're a CEO um, or VP or executive level, those are conversations that need to be handled. Most of those decisions you know, we need to discuss those because it's not black and white. And then also to confirm, um, because there are many times that people will send an email, the su supervisor will send it back, but it's not clarified. I want you to do X, Y, and Z, um, or I want you to do it, but they don't realize that, okay, you, you've given me 10 priorities and I only have time to do five priorities. Mm -hmm. And that's hard to relay in an email. Right. right. Well, I, I, you, you said something there is, is confirmation is, and I think you even gave an example, is um, your, your, your boss tells you to do something or makes a suggestion or tells you to do something, right. and that you should respond saying, okay, I've got it. At three o'clock, you want me to call Acme Incorporated to confirm, uh, to confirm their contract. In other words, right. basically, what we're supposed to do in conversation too is, is mm -hmm. kind of pair it back to them right. what they've told us to confirm that we actually understood and are going to act on what they've said as, as opposed to just assuming that the boss knows I'm going right. to jump on it, right? Yeah, that's very important to confirm, but let's go back to my, my previous example. Let's say that um, I have five priorities and the CEO just sent me another priority okay. and, and he says, I want you to do this by three o'clock you have to, you know, as the employee, you're going, God, what do I do? Because the vi this vice president told me to do this, this vice president told me to do that, and the CEO told me to do this, mm -hmm. and those are five things, or let's, there's a three things, and I have time to do one, right. okay? So that's where you have to send an email back and say, this, these are my other priorities, which one do you want me to drop? Yeah. And that's where some employees can be fearful, you know, going back to what Deming was talking about. If you don't have faith and trust in your organization, then the people are going to say, uh, I'm guessing, yeah. or I'm not going to question him, I'm going to do what he says, yeah. and whoever is going to um, whip me the most, that's the one I'm going to please, yeah. because I can put up with Jan, because she's not going to make me pay a big price, but John, he's going to make me pay a price. Yeah. So that's the one I'm following, and that may not be the priority that the organization needs. Well, yeah, and when you say, say you know, John's going to make me pay a price, Jan's not, well, Maybe the price that Jan makes you pay personally isn't very high, but maybe the, the price of the organization is very high. Maybe Jan's right. project mm -hmm. is really the priority over John's, but the squeaky wheel gets a grease, so right. that's how it works. But you know, you have this, this top level of oversight, of mm -hmm. organization, of structure, mm -hmm. to determine how we're going to organize and allot out the work and structure it is really important. Right. And it's what gets lost in an email. Like I say, it's just, it's just it's all the same. It just piles up like snowflakes. and. People are like, well, I'm going to deal with whatever I can deal with. Right. And order comes in or whoever's more angry, and maybe that's not the way it should be dealt with. Well, most things in organizations aren't. Remember, when we're having a conversation, we need to prioritize how we're going to do it, who's going to do it, and when. And when you start putting dates on something, instead of saying, I want it done by mid-July, yeah. no. Even if it needs to be done by mid-July, say July 15th at 5 o'clock. That's it. Because invariably somebody's going to say, well, Jan's going to be on vacation that week, so either it needs to come in on the 20th or on the 10th. And so that starts clarifying things. And that's what needs to be interacted. And um, we need to have some rules in our communication, just basic, because the pendulum has, has swung so far into speed and efficiency rather than clarity and understanding and decision making. Yeah. Well, Kelly, uh, once again, some useful information yep. on communication. And if you are interested in uh, some, actually some in-depth discussion on 
actually communication. Uh, there is a webinar next week uh, with Kelly. Uh, the webinar is called Grow Profit Through Better Employee Management. Uh, this is an interactive webinar. In other words, we want you to tell us what your most pressing need is, management need is, at your company, uh, and we will actually address that need specifically on the show. There's a little survey uh, you'd fill out, and that will help us actually kind of formulate uh, the show that's going to be uh, next Tuesday, October 6 at 11 a.m. Pacific, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern with Kelly. So yeah. uh, there's a link to it actually yep. below the player page. You can link out there and sign up for the webinar. Yep. And, uh, and uh, so we hope to see you there. Uh, by the way, this is a paid webinar, but it's it's uh, inexpensive. Yep. So go ahead and sign up for it. Check that one out. Thanks, Kelly. We're going to see you on Tuesday. Then, All right. Thank and you. We'll be, we'll be talking about that. All right.